Good morning, everybody. Hope you're well today. So good morning, my name's Christina. I am here at the YMC East Hampton Rec Center and it is Friday. So if you have forgotten what day it was in your quarantine world, I'm here to remind you, you've made it through yet another week. So congratulations. Today, we're gonna to do some twists. So if you have a sensitive lower back or a surprisingly a sensitive stomach, I ask that you really listen to your body, take it to the level that is right for you. I have my blocks today, so I always recommend um, you hold on to blocks as well. If you haven't noticed in my last few classes, I switched sides so that I'm not turning my back to you guys. So I have my blocks on either end. If you don't have a block, uh, a book will do just fine or an ottoman. You just want something that's going to bring the ground a little closer to you so that you can put your hand down. We use the block for stability, but we also want to keep in mind we're never dropping our entire weight into the block. So with that being said, as we go into our twists, I want you to always twist to your right first. So I know in this situation, I'm funky, right? I'm a, a different position for you. So I want you to really focus on listening to my right and my left and doing just that, your right and your left, not necessarily what I'm doing. The importance of twisting to our right first is that we want to work with the digestive system. And as that the circle of the digestive system is, we want to make sure we're following it. Just like I say before every single class, my cues this morning are going to be fairly generalized. So I'm not, I can't actually see you. So I want you to really listen to my cues, listen to your body. If something does not feel right, please do not do it. If exercise is new to you, make sure you're getting a doctor's clearance or talking to your doctors about what you should and shouldn't be doing so that you know. And as always, please uh, let us know what we can do for you. What do you need throughout your workouts uh, during this quarantine time until we're able to see you again. So with that, let's begin our practice in a comfortable seated posture. So for me, my ankles are crossed, but that could be very different for you. They might be further out, they might be straight. You might want to prop yourself up on a pillow or a blanket. <clears throat> so go ahead, find that position, shift the sit bones so that you're truly sitting down equally on both hips. Now what I'm gonna do is just roll those shoulders back and away and sit up as tall as you can. So we're starting out at a gate that might already cause a little tension, maybe in your hips or your lower back, your core. I really want you to type right out of the gate this morning. Close your eyes. And if it's available to you, begin breathing in and out of your nose. Just taking nice deep breaths. Your hands are gonna fall to your legs or into your lap, your choice. If they're on your legs or in your lap, we want to turn the palms up if we're hoping to receive energy right now, or turn them down if you're finding with your anxiety or your energy is a little too high and a little too hectic up in your headspace. So find where you are right now this morning. Relax those shoulders down and away and continue to sit up a little bit taller every time you take a breath. As we breathe in and out of our nose, allow your stomach as well as your chest to expand to welcome the breath. Feeling the sides of your body open up as you expand through that breath. And allow it all to release down as you exhale and draw in. Although sitting up as tall as you can, begin to feel heavy through your shoulders so that they fall down and back. If your neck is beginning to fall forward, creep it right back up so you have a long spine. If you can, please allow your eyes to remain closed. Let's get those twists and the breath moving together. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead, collapse your palms, and then on your exhale, rotate to your right, looking over your shoulder or keeping your eyes closed. As you inhale, lift up, reach up, hands meet above your head, and then we exhale and flip to our left. 
So whether your eyes are open or your eyes are closed, I want you to remember that it's not my piece, it's your piece. Inhale to rise, exhale to shift. We're not fully warm yet, so we want to be careful on those twists. You don't want to find anything that's too juicy just yet. We're just flipping and floating through these postures. Wherever you're at, be fully balanced on both sides. So if that means you have to go one more direction or two more directions. Let's meet right back in the middle. As you inhale, reach up, and then as you exhale, bow forward, reaching your fingertips out in front. Release down, drop your head, let it go. No weight, no pressure. So if it feels better to kind of round through your shoulders, go ahead and do so, that's fine, let it go. From here, remembering your right from your left, walk your hands to your right. So as we shift over to the right, we're actually expanding the left side of our body. The fingertips are extending our way. Sit bones drive back and away. We feel that opposition and expansion through the entire left side of your body. Two more breaths. As you take your next inhale, walk across. Let's go all the way to our left side. Same thing that we expand and expand through the right side of our body. So although we've shifted to our left, we're opening, expanding the right. From your fingertips all the way to the sit bones, you wanna feel that opposition. Heads down and relax. Continue expanding, reaching. Just want to say hello to Sylvia. Keep going. From here, walk yourself back in. And then hands come underneath our shoulders, shift up onto your knees, and come into your hands and knees. Hands right underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips. Let's take some cats and cow. So let's start in our cow. Look up, open, and expand the front of our body, especially if you've been doing the 31-day ab challenge. This should feel glorious. Let's find our cat pose. Flex your feet, roll all the way through. Take your gaze underneath and up towards your belly button. Open and splay through those shoulder blades. Wonderful, find your breath, inhale to your calf. Exhale to your cat. So remembering that it's not my pace, I'll say this numerous times, I want it to be your pace. So flow through. Open and expand the back body, especially if we're going to get into a lot of those twists. We want to make sure we have all the muscles around our spine ready to go. Completely balanced on both sides. Reset to your neutral spine, taking our bird dog, extend your right arm away, staying here or extending the left leg at the same time. Holding this for a few breaths, long through your spine so your gaze is a little bit further out. So flat behind there, lifting, flexing your back foot. Go ahead and release that back to the ground. Let's switch sides. Hands first. Option, stay here. Go ahead and extend the back foot to if it's right for your balance. Reaching away through the fingertips and the back of your heel. Wonderful, let's find your flow. As you inhale, lift up, and as you exhale, lower down. Connecting through the entire back body here. So as you push through the heel, I want you to squeeze and engage the hamstring and the glutes of the entire back of your leg. And then you shoot that same power out through the fingertips to open up the shoulder. Okay, wherever you're at, be fully balanced on both sides. When you're done, find yourself in child's pose. Sit back towards your heels. Always remembering you can place a blanket or a pillow between your sit bones and your heels if that's right for you. Begin extended, fingertips out in front. Head drops, chin tucks. Reaching those fingers as far away as you can. Relax through the head though. So, 
You're gonna feel a little extra through the shoulder blades, opening and reaching away, but no pressure in the neck. Wonderful, let's find our first downward dog. So before we get there, find your plank. Take your shoulders over the wrist, tuck the toes, reset. So find where you're straight, gaze is long, shoulders right over the wrist and try not to move the hands or the feet lift the glutes up to the sky so our sit bones are rising our heels are shifting down so this is your full variation especially right now as we're a little bit uh cold we're not fully warm yet your heels may not be touching the ground that's fine if you're a little sensitive you can always bend those knees so make sure that the focus is more on the elongation and then feel free to pedal out side to side or shift the weight. Just go ahead, just engage and acknowledge how this feels right now. Does it feel like you're reaching super far away and have too much weight in your shoulders? Try and open and spread those fingers. If you feel like your sit bones are dropping, lift up and engage through the core. Okay. This time, other than we've normally done, we're gonna walk our fingertips and our hands back towards your feet. So go ahead, slowly take your time getting there. Uh, bending your knees as it's right for your back and your hamstring. So walking your hands all the way in, but finding where it's right for you. So bend the knees, maybe shift side to side. Just what's going on in your body. Where are you at this morning? Lifting those sit bones up. Wonderful. Let's do the opposite. Walk those hands all the way back out to your plank. So take your time getting there. We're walking to the plank. Once you're in your plank position, I want you to walk your feet slowly all the way up to your hands. The so little steps, bending the knees as you need to and it's right for you. But if you have the flexibility, begin expanding through those legs, feeling the difference through your body, through the back of it as you walk the feet all the way up. Maybe your hands begin to rise as you get there. From here, balance concerns, our feet are a little bit wider. If you're comfortable, they can be in so that your big toes are touching. Bend those knees, roll all the way up, allowing your shoulders to be relaxed to rise. We're gonna go through some modified flows. And again, we're gonna be doing some twists and always twisting to your right first. From here, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow all the way forward, reach and lift with your chest. Inhale, lift up, open your chest. Taking our left leg back, dropping the left knee down to the ground. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, modified. Lunge, rise up, expand through the back, the front of your left side, both hands down to the ground. Coming back into downward dog. Option, stay here. If you would like, let's flow through a vinyasa. We're gonna inhale to come forward. Knees down if it's right for you, lower all the way down to the ground. Choosing your back bend, it could be a baby cobra or an upward dog. Flexing those feet, lifting back up into your downward dog. Taking our right leg forward, dropping the left knee down to the ground. Inhale your arms up to the sky. Taking your left hand down to the ground, Windmill your right hand up, look up. Returning to your lunge, rising both hands up to the side. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Left meets your right at the top of your mat. Flat back as we inhale, melt as we exhale. Rise as we inhale. Bow down as we exhale. Inhaling flat back. Right leg comes back, dropping to the knee. Lift up for the lunge. Both hands down to the ground. Downward dog. Your choice, stay here or keep flowing. Inhaling forward. Choosing your exhale. And your back bend as you inhale. Downward dog as you exhale. Left foot comes forward. Right knee to the ground. Rise up for your lunge. Right hand lowers, left hand swoops up, twist. 
Returning to your lunge, both hands up, hands down. Exhale, hands down, right knee to your left, forward fold. Flat back, inhale, let it go, exhale. Root to rise, inhale, all the way down, exhale. Left leg steps back, choosing to drop the knee or keep it extended, both arms rise up. Holding here for a few breaths, relax the shoulders down, lift your chest. Take your front knee right over the front ankle, elongation straight down the back of our left thigh. Extend power out through the heel. Lowering both hands down, downward dog, stepping back. Staying here or flowing, inhale, exhale. Lift up, inhale, returning back, exhale. Inhaling your right leg up to the sky. Exhale it between your hands, choosing your lunge, knee down or knee up. Choosing your twist option. If you're down, take that elbow outside the knee. If you're extended, that's fine too, your choice. Elbows outside the knee, hands are together, and you want to use your upper body strength to bring the hands in line with the center of your chest. Few breaths here. If you find that you're completely rounded, go ahead, drop that back knee. The focus isn't the legs right now. The focus is that twist and the opening sensation, really using the power of your upper body. Gaze over the shoulder. Whether your knee is down or extended, release the arms, inhale, rise up. Both hands down, left meets your right at the top of your mat. Flat back as you inhale, release as you exhale. Sorry, inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way back down. This time our right leg shifts back, choosing Knee up or knee down, rise up, high lunge. Few breaths here, relax the shoulder, extend out, open the front of that thigh. Shoulders down and away, gaze is straight. Full hands down as we exhale, downward dog. Flowing or staying here. Lifting our left leg up to the sky, taking it between our hands, dropping the knee or keeping extended, lift up, inhale. Taking that twist, hands to your heart center. Elbow goes outside the knee and use that upper body to lift. Remembering it's not about the legs right now, it's about opening the body. We're twisting to the left. Gaze is over the shoulders. Keep using the power of your upper body. Breathe in and out of your nose. Inhaling back up high. Exhale your hands down, right foot meets your left at the top of your mat. Flat back as you inhale. Let it go as you exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Flat back, inhale. Left leg sends back, warrior one. Heel releases to the ground and we rise up. Front knee stacked right over our ankle. Hips squaring forward, reach. From here, elongate your front right leg. Keeping the hips square, bowing forward to elongate the back of your front right leg. If it's right for you, have a block. Hold on to it. Like I said, an ottoman or a book works just as good. If you don't have it, you're using your leg. Don't push into it. Lift the chest. Find where it's right for your body. If your chest is still lifted, let it go. Take the full variation of your body and your pose. 
Remembering we're not opening the hips, but we're keeping them square. So that left hip is shifting forward and the right hip is shifting back. Bending our front right knee. If you have a block, place it to the outside of your right foot. Have it ready to go for later. Hands come down, right knee to your left, downward dog. Choosing to stay here or let's flow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Right leg lifts up to the sky, inhale, swooping it between your hands. Heel goes down, we rise up, warrior one. Elongating your front right leg. Left hand reaches forward and we twist. So if you have your block or your ottoman or your book, your hand goes right outside. If this becomes too much of a twist, you can release that back foot. I want you to try and keep it down. Square off your hips, lift your chest, and open the body. So if you are here in order to get here, I'd rather you come up here and be in the twisting posture. If you choose to come down because you can open the shoulders to stack them, go ahead and do so. Breathe. We have five breaths here. Lift up a little higher. Open and expand a little further. Three more breaths. If you're collapsing into that hand, release that weight and rise up. That's okay. Last time. Beautiful. Both hands down to the ground. Bend your front right leg. Step your left to meet your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise up. Exhale all the way back down. Right leg shoots back. Warrior one. Hips square. Arms lift. Bending into the front left leg. Opening that back hip. Relax your shoulders. Can you go a little further into that left knee? Keeping it over the ankle. Power through that right leg. Beautiful, elongate your front left, bowing forward. So remembering your options with your blocks or your item that's gonna bring the floor up to you. Hips are staying square, chest lifts at first so that we can elongate the back of the leg, elongate through the spine. And then if it's available to you, go ahead and let it go. Deep breaths through your nose. You can always close your eyes if it feels right for you, but sometimes that becomes our cheat to not pay attention. So if you're closing your eyes, make sure it's to focus, not to ignore. Okay, bending the front left leg, returning back up for warrior one. Both hands to the ground. Left meets your right, and taking a vinyasa if you choose. Left leg reaches up, inhale. Exhale up between your hands. Warrior one, hip square, front leg straight. We have a block, we want it on the outside of our left foot, hip square. From here, elongate your front left leg. Right hand now reaches forward. And then that hand comes to the block, to the foot, to the leg, and we twist. So we want the shoulders to stack on top of each other. So come up high if it's what you need to do to get there. And then lift the top arm of your leg. Look up to the left fingertips. As we twist, it becomes a little difficult to breathe, but I still want you to focus on the breath. In and out of your nose. Four more breaths. Can you open your chest a little bit more? Last two. 
hands down, let it go, bend the knee, rise up, warrior one. Both hands to the ground, right knee to your left at the top of your mat, inhale, flat back, let it go, exhale. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down. Flat back as you inhale, extend. Stepping back with your left foot, coming into that high lunge, lift up. Connect and find the twist. This time, left hand to the inside of the left foot, windmill the right arm up to the sky. From here, keeping your weight in your left hand, we're gonna step into our side plank. So drop the left knee if you need to, but if you can, bring those feet on top of each other, lift the chest. Hold for three breaths, lifting the hips up to the sky. Last one without collapsing, lower to plank, choosing to go down into your chaturanga if you'd like, or downward dog. On the inhale, right leg lifts up to the sky, swooping it between your hands, and let's go right into that twist. Arm lifts, look up. Holding that lunge, knee down is great variation, rise up into your twist. So you're gazing over your right knee, right shoulder, open, but you're rising. Hands to your heart center, left knee to the outside of your, I'm sorry, left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Remembering you can always be down below, expand and rise as you twist. We're gonna step our left foot in to a twisted chair pose. So left leg comes in to meet the right. Find that a little wobbly, that's okay. Lift up, look over your shoulder. Take a moment to gaze at your knees, make sure they're lined up. If you're feeling your sit bones are rising a little too high, try and drop them nice and deep into that chair. Lift the chest, look over, give me two more breaths. Forward fold, let it go. Flat back as you inhale. Let it go as you exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up. Taking your hands to your heart center. Breathe, close your eyes. Reconnect. Reestablish. Beautiful, inhale, reach up. Exhale, all the way down, let it go. Flat back as we inhale. Stepping back with our right leg. Going right into that twist. So reaching up with the left hand. Dropping the knee if it's right for our body. And let's shift into our side plank. Weight goes to the outside of the right foot and we lift up. Lifting and rising through the hip. We have three more breaths to get us a little bit higher. Downward dog or flow into chaturanga. Rise, inhale. Release back, exhale. Right foot lifts up, inhale. Taking our foot forward. Twist into the lunge. I like you, ladies and gents. Bring your left foot forward, I'm sorry. Twist. Take your left arm up to the sky. Knee down or straight. Rise up with your twist. So airplane arms. Extend through the back leg, even if you're down on your knee. Hands to your heart center. Right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Gaze over your left shoulder. Breathe, look up. Remember it's about the twist, not the leg. So if your balance is bonkers right now, go ahead and lower it, look up. Find where you can. From here, going into our twisted Utkatasana, we're gonna take that right foot to meet the left, the top of our mat. 
Line the knees up so one's not in front of the other. Readjust the upper body if you need to. Then look over the shoulder. So we're pushing down with the power of our upper left arm to bring our hands back to our chest. Pause your breathing. Two more breaths. Let it go. Release here. Balance out. Shift the weight in the legs side to side. So hands are either on the ground or on a block. So that's not where I want any discomfort right now. I just want you to rinse out the legs, hips, lower back. Wonderful. One last time. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, bow all the way down. Coming through for a flat back. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, any footsteps back. Then the other meets it, downward dog. Reset into your full downward dog. Where does it feel right for you? We're extending the heels all the way down. Open through the shoulder blades. The head and neck has no weight in it. Rising up with those sit bones, reach them. Remembering bend the knees if that's where it's right for you. Two more breaths. Knees come down, child's pose. Knees under hips or wide, your choice on the child's pose. Release our weight back towards our heels. Drop your head, drop your neck. I want no weight in the upper body, so you can keep your arms extended, but elbows down. Or if it feels right, you take your full extension. Our hands reach back towards the feet. Our head is resting with our forehead onto the mat. This feels funky. It can be on a block great place to be. Remembering that if it's too much on the knee, you can always take a blanket, a block, a couch pillow, whatever you got, and place it right between the sit bones and the heels. So we did a decent amount of twists. Whether you took Lauren's interval training and did your bicycles or you didn't, this class had more twists in it than we're used to, so go ahead and sway your hips a little side to side. Wonderful. Use your upper body. Walk yourself all the way up. We're going to take a hero pose. So for a lot of us, hero pose is um, very deep for the knee, the quad, and the deep on the hips. So a few variations, please pick the one that's right for you. The first one, you just truly sit with your heels underneath your sit bones, nice and tall, full elongation through the spine. If it's too much for the knee, remember that saying, that pillow's right here too. So if you have healthy knees and healthy quads, we're gonna continue and progress. If not, you stay right where you are. If you want, you open your feet and allow your sit bones to drop right in between them. So out of the gate, if you felt any discomfort or twist to the knee, this isn't the right pose for you, and I want you to take it back to where we just were. If this feels okay, but you begin to feel some opening, same thing. Posture goes long, sitting up nice and tall. Stay here. Or if you want a deeper pose, we begin to work our upper body away as long as the knee remains connected to the mat. So we only go as far as our knees stay down. So as you get deeper into this pose and you have the flexibility, you almost want to use the power of the knees to drive through. So find where the pose is right for you. Full extension. We take our arms up over our head. We're elongating the front of our body. Knees are still remaining connected to the mat. We should not have any discomfort in our lower back, so this becomes too much of a back bend. Please come out of it. And let's take three breaths in whatever variation you've chosen to be in right now.
if you are down on your mat, use your upper body to push yourself up little by little. Working your way all the way up. If your sit bones are between your heels, bring them back in. And everybody, let's take your hands out in front, release those feet away. Almost done with our twists. Let's take our right knee in. Remember, I am not the same, but I want to get the same twisting benefits that you guys are. So right foot comes in. Foot either on the inside of your thigh or the outside. Left arm reaches up to the sky. You can either hug the right knee in or take your elbow outside. Everybody inhale, lift up, and then exhale, look over your shoulder. If you chose to tuck that foot underneath, that's fine as long as you can keep both hips balanced on the ground. Two more breaths, so try and exaggerate, lift up and twist. Take a counter twist all the way across your body. Look down, let it go. From here, release that right leg away. Let's switch to the left. Left knee either comes outside the thigh or across the body, your choice. Right arm lifts up, clasp the knee or take your elbow to the outside. Lift as you inhale, twist as you exhale. So gaze those over a shoulder, activate that bottom foot whether you've chosen to tuck it under or keep it active and straight. If you're finding you're shifting your weight into that back arm, rise up a little higher. Last two breaths. Taking our counter twist, looking over and letting it go. Beautiful, release that foot. Come on down to your mat, tug your knees into your chest and shift your weight side to side. Massage at your lower back. We're gonna take a few more spinal twists, so a handful of different variations here. First variation, both feet come flat to the ground, heels as close to the butt as it's right for your body. Arms out like a T. Take both knees, drop them to your right. Take your gaze over your left. Relax the shoulders down and away. If you want, you can take that top hand to give a little extra weight to the left knee. Inhale, return to center. Let's go to the other side. Both knees drop to your left. Gaze comes over your right. Breathe. Wonderful, let's return to center. Hug your right knee into the chest. Let's get our wind reliever pose. Fingers come on top of the shin or underneath your knee, your choice. Extend the left leg and flex both of your feet. Right knee is coming in towards your body. From here, let go of your right hand and take that knee across your body with your gaze over to your right shoulder. So this is going to be a little bit deeper than you had before, so your knee and foot might not be touching the mat. That's fine. Focus is keeping your upper body on our mats so that you can create that elongation to the back of your lower body. Returning to center. Taking now your right knee into your chest. Wind will leave her on the other side, hand behind or above. Elongation through the right leg. Both feet are flexed and activated. Shoulders down and relax. So if you're here in order to get the knee in, relax the shoulders first, and it's okay if the knee is further away from your body. Taking our twist, left leg comes across as we extend our left arm. Sending your deep exhale to wherever you're feeling tension or tightness. Returning to center. From here, take your right leg over your left leg like you're sitting into a chair. 
Drop both of your knees to the left side. Look over your right. So each one of these twists will potentially show you a different space in your back that might need a little love. You might be very flexible. You might not feel this at all as we transition through the different ones. It's fine. It's a great time to just feel the differences or acknowledge. And then last time, return to center. Taking your left over your right, dropping them to your right and taking your knees over your left. Returning your knees back to center, closing your eyes and taking your arms to your side. Release your legs, send them away. Shake them out, add some movement here. Wiggle those fingers, relax the shoulders, drop them really away so that they fall where they want to be naturally. A few more shakes to those legs. Notice that they begin to shift away from the center of your body. It's perfect. And then let it go. Taking our final pose, our shavasana, close your eyes. No longer control your breath. Beginning at your feet. Feel them open. Feel the back of the heel touch to the ground. Feel where your foot and ankle no longer touch the earth. And then where it reconnects at your calf. Feel the space behind the back of your knee. And then where your thighs and hips reconnect. Feel the space where your lower back doesn't touch the mat. And where your upper back shoulders reconnect. Feeling where your elbow or your wrist no longer touches. With the back of your hand. Feel the space behind your neck and the mouth. And where your head reconnects. Allow the front of your body to release and be supported by the back of your body. you have the time to stay here, please do so. Continuing to breathe. We all have distractions around us right now. Remembering this space and this time is yours. You're going to come out of your practice with me. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Hands reach over our head, we take a full body stretch, and then roll to either side, your left or your right, whichever one naturally calls to you, and then drop your head onto your arm. Pausing here. Shifting the weight from our back to our side. Same thing, allowing our side body to take our weight. If you can, keep your eyes closed, but use your upper body, push yourself up. Find a comfortable seated posture, whichever that may be for you right now. Keep your eyes open, reclose them, and take your hands to your heart center. Slight bow to your head. Thank you all so much for allowing me part of your morning and a part of your yoga practice. We did do a decent amount of twists today, so just acknowledge how your body feels throughout the rest of today and through tomorrow. 
possibly TMI, but going to the bathroom a few times today might be a natural element as they released and opened up some of the internal workings of our body. It's okay. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend and this video finds you healthy and safe. The spirit in me honors and acknowledges the spirit in you. Namaste. As always, we want to see pictures. We want to see videos. Let us know what's going on at your home while you're doing this. Hello, Joy. Uh, while you're doing these workouts, keep us posted. Keep us updated. What do you need right now? What do you want? What times work good for you? What type of classes work good for you? What are you looking for while we're not actually in front of you? I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take care, everybody.